Hello and welcome back to another episode of Tanya TV. In this episode, we're talking about manifestation routines and more specifically, how you can apply everything you learned in last week's manifestation blueprint to create a routine that you can implement in your daily life that doesn't take a lot of effort, that doesn't take a lot of time, that's super easy so that you can stay high vibe, you can stay on that level 10 energy where manifestation happens and attract money and clients into your business with ease because that's what you want, right? Now, if we haven't met yet, I'm Tanya Rainier. I am a business coach for coaches like yourself. I am the best-selling author of the book Mindset Switch and Law of Attraction, guru, junkie, manifestation, maven. I've been doing this stuff for years. And it took me a little while to figure out what worked and how to put it into a process that was really easy. And now that I've got it down to an art and science, I want to teach it to you so that you too can manifest clients and money into your business. Now, Last week, we talked about the blueprint, the four steps of manifesting, and hopefully you downloaded the workbook and you're doing all of that work, and now you're ready to you know, implement a routine so that you can stay in that high vibe energy. Now, the reason that is so important is you attract things into your life that match your vibration, meaning if you are high vibe, you are sending high vibe signals out to the universe that act as boomerangs and they find things that match that frequency and they bring them back to you. So if you are in a high vibe state, you're going to attract clients that are excited and ready to spend money and they want to work with you and, and they want to get the results that you can provide and they pay you, right? So that energy is what goes out into the universe and attracts your clients to you. Now, if that's a little too woo and you can't quite wrap your head around like, okay, Tanya, really? Energy and attraction? All right, well, let me put it in practical terms for you. When you are high vibe, which is another way of saying when you have a positive attitude, when you're in a really good mood, when you have a, a generally positive and optimistic disposition, you're confident in yourself, in your abilities. You're confident in in your ability to grow your business. You are um, you're so confident in that that you're a little picky and specific about who it is that you work with. And you're like, I know that I'm good and I've got something to offer. I know that I am of value. I feel really good about putting myself out there. I am excited and inspired to take action to move my business forward. You show up differently, right? And as a result of showing up differently and being ready to say yes to opportunities, when they present themselves, you jump on them and you move, you take action. And that is what grows your business. So we can talk about the energetic, spiritual aspect, or we can talk about the really practical aspect. Either way, what it boils down to one thing, and that is your vibe, your mood, the way you're thinking and feeling every day, all day long. And that is what this routine is designed to create is that high vibe energy all day long. Now, I love morning routines. I'm a huge fan of having a really powerful and positive morning routine. However, I am not dumb. I realize that not everybody has like a really uh, kind of easy go with the flow, do whatever you want kind of a morning. I'm curious, what is your morning like? I, leave me like a, a GIF or an emoji in the comments below that describes your typical morning or shows the emotion or the energy of your typical morning. Sometimes it's not feasible to have a morning routine that allows you to do everything you want. And, and here's the other thing. Even if you do, if you do great, power that routine up, do as much as you can in the morning. But even if you are able to do that, there's a pretty good chance that you're going to encounter situations throughout the day or circumstances that trigger you, that that irritate you, that stress you out, that put you in a bad mood, or just lower your vibe in one way or another. And this is what we want to guard against. You need to be very aware of your vibe at all times. So by scheduling five 10, 15 minutes in the morning to do your morning stuff. And then another five somewhere in the afternoon, that's all it takes, five minutes to check in with your, your vibe and see how you're doing and make adjustments if necessary. And then again, you know, five, 10 or 15 minutes in the evening to reflect. 
you are going to become a manifesting queen because you're doing the work to keep your vibe high. Now, before we move on and I break this routine down for you, I want to invite you to download the cheat sheet that goes with this. And with that cheat sheet is a list of suggestions and tips that you can take and use and plug and play and, you know, experiment with to create your own manifesting routine. So make sure you grab that. It is below the video in the green box. If you're watching this anywhere else on the interwebs, you can go to my website, tanyarainier.com slash TV02 to grab that download. All right, so how should you break up your day to create these little routines, which they're really like mini routines, a morning, afternoon, and evening one? Well, the morning is all about setting the tone for the day. When you take just a few minutes to like center yourself, you know, set your intentions, get your focus right, get your head right, it, it literally does set the vibe for the day. So you can do this a couple of ways. You might experiment with visualizing your goals, just like the ones that you outlined in the manifestation blueprint last week. Now, visualizing your goals kind of gets you in that like that zone. It aligns you with that energy of achieving them. And it reminds your brain that like, yeah, this is what we want to do. This is what's possible. This is why we're getting up and we're taking action today. And from there, you might want to repeat your affirmations, whatever affirmations you need that day to reassure and reaffirm to yourself that you are worthy, that you belong, that you are enough, that you are qualified, that you've got this. Remind yourself how possible you are, how skilled, how strong, how valuable. And then from there, move on to, okay, what are my intentions for the day? How am I going to take this, this energy and move toward that goal that I just visualized in my mind? And then carry on, go about your day. And sometime in the afternoon, right around that time, you typically hit your like energy slump or when things start to go downhill, I want you to pause and check in with yourself. How are you feeling? How's your vibe? How's your mood? Is there something you need to release? And if so, take a few minutes to do that. Again, this doesn't take very long. It's just a matter of getting into the habit of checking in with yourself. So set an alarm in your phone if you want to, but take that time to check in and go, you know what? I'm a little frazzled. I'm a little anxious. I'm a little stressed out. I'm going to take a minute. I'm going to go sit outside if I can. I'm going to lock myself in the bathroom if I need to. And I'm going to deep breathe, just a couple minutes of deep breathing, a couple minutes of meditation, EFT, or totally take yourself out of whatever it is that you were thinking about and get into the present moment. Laugh. Enjoy the company of somebody else or the conversation of somebody else. Take a moment to check in with a friend. Just sit in nature and like do nothing for a couple of minutes. Meditate, whatever it takes to release that negativity that had started to build up and get back to your high vibe place. And finally, the evening. So after your day is over, you're done with all the things that you have to do for the house, for the family, take a few minutes to yourself to reflect on your day. This is an excellent time for journaling, for uh, doing a gratitude list, for reflecting back on your day and looking at what, what worked, celebrating your wins and successes, acknowledging any new lessons that you've learned and any new ways that you've grown. This is also an excellent time to wind down, read a good book, meditate, relax, and enjoy the journey of, of life, of what you've just accomplished during the day to grow your business and, and grow yourself. And what tomorrow may look like. This may also be a good time to set your intentions for tomorrow and go, okay, this is what happened today. And, and this is how I can apply what I've learned to tomorrow to make tomorrow even better. So the question of the day, what does your routine look like? What is your favorite part of your routine? 
Or do you plan to add something new that you've learned here by watching this video? Remember to download the freebie so that you can create your very own manifestation plan and work that into your day. And if you did find this valuable, please click the like button. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you can get reminded every week when we post a new video and a new freebie. And if you happen to know somebody who would benefit from creating a manifestation routine of their own, please feel free to share this video with them. I would be forever grateful. It was amazing hanging out with you today. I love you to pieces and I will see you back here on the next episode.